Hey guys, welcome to Bubble Man's World. I'm here with D420K and uh, we are about to do the Blue River Extracts Terpene Gauntlet. Uh, I have 18 incredible flavors that I've had uh, sent over from Mr. Verzura, Tony from, uh, from Blue River. And you know, just to kind of go through them real quick, we've got Lemon Kush. We've got Orange Creamsicle. We've got Purple Punch. We've got Sunset KB. We've got Pineapple Cream Sickle, or Pineapple Cream. And then we have Tahoe OG, Triple OG, Ooh. Ath Gooey, Ath Gooey, Gorilla Glue, Vitamin CBD, Cheese Bomb, Red Congolese. Oh my God! Let me tell you red about that Congo. one. Red Congo. Is that a cross with something? Then? No, that's a Congolese. There's a green Congo and a red Congo. Um, they're separate. They're different. Wow. Um, Chem Dog. Venom OG. Sounds powerful. SMW, which is the Strawberry Mind Warp, oh. and finally, but not la you know, last but not least. We got the Cherry AK-47. So this is what we've done. We have taken a drop out of each one and placed it into, oh sorry, I forgot the Purple Hindu as well, which is the one here at the end that doesn't actually have the small jar because I only got large jars of Purple Hindu. Mm -hmm. So I pulled out a, a couple of drops and put it in here. So each empty uh, jar without the label has maybe a, a drop or two maximum in it. And that way we can dip each hit into the terp jar without actually affecting the original terp jar. Yeah, by maybe contaminating it with your rosin and my rosin at the same time. These, so terpenes are, these terpenes are solvents. They would chew up our, our rosins. And that's a good, good call. Do you want to tell everyone what you're using as your base for today? Well, I've got 120 dry sift, OG Kush. It's really thick and it's dark, but uh, very powerful. Got it, Ninja Nice stuff. catch, dude. And, uh, it's um, it's good. It's really good. I love it. It's it's what I brought to smoke as the base flavor to Perfect. start with, so I'm not getting any contaminate across. I think it's a good idea. We both talked about it earlier before filming that it would be best if we hit each rip with the same product and just go all the way through. Um, I'm using some of the West Coast Concentrate Rosin. Uh, this one is it's a purple, purple candy pure, I believe. Not not with anything else mixed in. So. Yeah, I'm pretty excited, dude. Should we should we start the gauntlet? Yes. 18 Absolutely. rips. We're going to try and do it in under an hour. That means every minute and 30 seconds, either Darren or myself has to be taking a rip. Every three minutes, we each have to take one new rip to get, uh, to get under the one hour mark. So I'm pretty stoked. I guess we'll go... Uh, let's go Purple Hindu. Okay. Purple Hindu... Very excited about this little... Uh, and we're also doing just little rips. I think that's a good thing to, to, to explain to everyone. We are not doing you know, what we would normally hit, 18 of those rips in a row. This is really all about the terpenes and the cannabinoids are mostly in this uh, situation the carrier for the terpenes because we don't really want to hit pure terpenes. I find hitting them with the cannabinoids to just be the perfect, perfect uh, rip. Um, one thing that I've known that I've this is all every one of these strains is terps all from the marijuana strain that it's growing. They are all cannabis derived. Yes. There's no other uh, things involved That's here. That's a huge thing I wanted to point out because there's all kinds of creamsicle and stuff like that oh, coming yeah. up, but they're not terps from the strains. They're terp profiles created to taste like that and exactly. they're not actual can cannabis terps. And you know Mark Scaldone, our PhD chemist in Hash Church, says terpenes are terpenes. I tend to be a little disagreeant with that when it comes to the inhalation of these potentially caustic, potentially solvent-based terpenes. I want to make sure that they're coming from cannabis, the plant that produces them, that we have been inhaling them off of for thousands of years. And uh, I just prefer a cannabis-derived 
Keep in mind, we're also smoking a profile. We're not puffing any pure terpenes here. These are pure cannabis terpene profile. So it's a variety of terpenes that we're hitting. So I guess uh, we start. We start, my friend. Let's hey, do this. Cheers. Yeah, dude. Cheers. Ding. <laughs> Very light <laughs> cheers on the mothership. Well, cheers. Cheers. It was the nail cheers. <laughs> I liked it. I've only done it one other time, but it was good. Let's do it. It's also nice to use a base that you're so used to because you recognize the differences in the flavors. What do you have to say about that? I have to say that the temperature makes a huge difference. We should mention that we are both hitting under 600 degrees Fahrenheit. We're at about 578 to 580 or 577 to 580. And uh, the lower temperature with the Terps always seems to make it a little better. You'll get a lighter hit in the sense you'll get this smoke off on the yeah. cannabinoids, but the terpene rip that you get from that low low temp dab, we're not quite as low as some people. Some people go under 500 degrees. Well, yeah, yeah. The West Coast boys, they like, the one guy likes it really low. Yeah, right. yeah, low, low temp dabber. Yeah. So what do you say about lemon kush? Very, very nice. That you could taste the citrusy in it. Well, that was purple. No, that was purple Hindu. This is lemon Kush. That's what I meant by. What do you think of this one now? Whoa. Holy smokes, right? man! Like, <sighs> it's just come on. If I could have, you know, one of those sleep apnea machines <laughs> at night and yeah. have that <laughs> scent pumped into my face. <laughs> Feel free to dab sleep, right in there. Is uh, that's awesome. Would be perfect. I am very, very modulated off of the first hit. I have to admit, like, it's such an amazing, great feeling. You could go and enjoy yourself for, for an hour on this vibe, whereas we're just going to, of course, shatter it with the... Uh, smell. Yeah, the flavor. Lick your lips. It'll be on there. Really nice. Here we go. Um, lemon Kush. Purple Hindu was beautiful, by the way. Oh wow. Now there's a, there's much more going on in the lemon kush in the in, in its levels. There are levels going on there. I don't even want to exhale it. I want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> but did you notice that the taste on your lips versus the taste in your mouth versus the taste in your throat, they're all slightly different. The way it fractions the flavors. Right now, it's all on my lips. It's it's all in my head. It's hard to I describe can, though, isn't it? it? Is. Like Flavor-wise, it's um I mean, I'm thinking kind of no, like that. Silly as it sounds, it's a party in my mouth. It's a party a in his mouth. Terps. It's a party like, in my mouth. Flavors. Um, you know, I came here with a headache too, eh? Really? I had a headache. Oh man. And these traffic these two, headache. These two, uh, they, it's it's gone. I can feel it gone. Uplifting. Um, just the smell of those terps to me is something that uh, that does something to you. You know, like, like that. Now this is Orange Creamsicle. This is the Bubble Man brand that's dropping uh, right away. Super Bowl weekend coming up here at Harborside. Oh. Go check it out if uh, if you're in town in California. This one I find amazing because when you smell it out here, if you can catch the waft, I want the. It's it's creamy. I want the dope from that. I want to see the dope and the hash from that and that like. It's creamy from a distance yet. Like citrusy when you get it close to your nose. Citrusy, that's it exactly. It goes really, when you get up close, it grabs you. But down over here, it's more like the cream. So you get that orange creamsicle. It is not a tangy. It is not a Calio. It is not a skunk number one. Um, it's got some really unique flavors. And I think, uh, I think we're going to get dip in here right away. Dip that shit. I'm telling you, man. Dippy. Getting dippy with it. Yeah, we are just doing little rips. It's This is not like the gauntlet of dry sift. No, where we were taking full-size rips. But 
<laughs> this this is about really understanding the subtle nuances of the modulation, not did getting destroyed. Dip? Oh, I dipped. Not getting destroyed on 18. We know if we take 18 rips of rosin or bubble hash or dry sift that we're going to get double dip. Very very stoned. Yes. This is more about just understanding the subtle nuances of the terpenes and those modulations. What I find, and we were talking about um, the way THC starts as a buzz. It has a real woo, and then it has this thing, and I can't remember the name Skunk Man Sam called it. It's like a synthate or something. It, 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 it ends, and that's the sort of the burnout or the whatever, and he was saying that the terpenes, they kind of just turn that part of it off. So you get the buzz, and then you just kind of keep floating on that buzz. There's not... Definitely. You know? Yeah. So here Definitely. we go. Uh, orange creamsicle. Orange creamsicle. Wow. Boom. This is going to be a treat. <laughs> Let a little bit of that one out your nose. Just the tiniest little bit. It'll taste me, that? It'll make me sneeze. I thought so too. I wouldn't do the whole hit. I just let out a little bit and then I blew it out my mouth. But the flavor in my nose now from letting that out is just this incredibly <coughs> orange that's citrus. Tell, that's, it tastes like fucking orange creamsicle. Right? Like that's the that is bottom line. I'm gonna go fucking get an orange creamsicle and leave here to have it. <laughs> Cause this, with that blown out of the with that blown out of the the nose, and I got the terps in the nose hairs and that it's like, oh, it's incredible. <laughs> when I first smelled the orange creamsicle, because obviously I wanted to, it was the the brand, the photo of of hash <laughs> posted up right now, so you can see the orange creamsicle hash. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to have it right away, so to be able to have the terpenes, these are cannabinoid-free terpenes. There are just terpenes present in here. Wow. Oh, God. What's this one? Holy Christ. What's this one, though? Think purple. <laughs> it's just... Bro, that, was, that was that's strong oh, from I, there. Well, because I didn't add the second word. Think punch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the purple punch. Pow. No right shit. Right in the kissa. Holy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, for the people at home that aren't getting the experience, there are multi dimensions going on in these flavors, and as you move them away and move them closer to your nose, you experience those sort of flavor dimensions differently. <laughs> and so that's what he just experienced as he was going in and out. He was, you catch the spike of these flavors that are elusive. This one, not so elusive. It's really like pow, right it in the kisser. In front of you right now. Like, wow. Jesus, let's get dipping And you know the, the buzz too. This is like- Did uh, we dip this one already? No. Okay, I was gonna say, geez, we're already forgetting. Oh no. I'm so buzzed out from, what have we done? Four, three? We've done three, dude. Oh yeah? Yeah. We got fucking Just 15, 15 more to go, go man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, someone's probably gonna be like, did you see Bubble Man put up the goat head fingers? That's definitely like Illuminati. It's oh. definitely devil worshiping. Yeah. It's definitely not. It's stoked on terps is what it is. All right, my good buddy. Here's a purple punch to you. Punch to the face. Right here we go. Just sparring with my buddy purple punch. Oh wow. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Holy is right. Let's have a glass of water. Holy. Now the purple punch, it smelled very strong to me, but its flavor was almost elusive. And I don't know if that's because I blew it out my nostrils. That one was very different from the orange creamsicle. Blowing it out my nostrils was more of that expected oh. itchy, raspy, like, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze type of thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What would you have to say on the flavors? Did you catch? The flavor I caught at the end. Hmm. 
that end flavor on the back of the tongue. Purpley. Um, like, um, oh, what's that strain? Uh, purple Punch? No, no. Just, is that what it is? This is, is the Purple Punch, purple, yeah. From Purple Punch. This is strain. from Purple Punch, yeah. Well, that's the strain, Purple Punch, down in Cali. We've got strains up here. Everybody gets strains mixed up and changes names and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. This strain reminds me of something that that I've had before. Rose said that about this one. This is the Sunset KB. And Sunset this, KB? What's KB? I have no idea. It's Killer on, Bud? It may be. It's on my, my label as Sunset KB. Now, I let Rose smell this yesterday, and right away he said, whoa. And then he went, whoa. That mm. reminds me something from my past. Hmm. It's a subtle one. feeling. It's a little bit, you don't smell it if you put it too close. That one's one you kind of have to go far and close, far and close, and you'll catch it in the in-between. So, yeah, that's number five. Ooh. Number five. You know, I wonder if, if uh, sniffing these types of turpins have any effect. Well, it's definitely making me lightheaded. Like, uh, you know, like... <laughs> Like some people would huff gas or some fucking thing, it gets them fucked up because of the. Well, the you know what? There is isn't this... there is an argument about that. The lot of the people that I kind of call them haters because I don't think they're creating <clears throat> proper open dialogue. Yes, we do not. Okay, first of all, we do know that inhaling terpenes on cannabis has been done for thousands of years, for maybe tens of you know ten to fifty or sixty years. People have been smoking, or maybe even longer. <clears throat> concentrates, you know, at the next level, not just hash, mm. but like oils and concentrates made into, you know, extremely Something better. potent. Yeah. And so the terpenes are very high in some of these concentrates, very high, in fact, almost as high as and higher sometimes than, than flavors that have been tested, hashes that have been tested with added terpenes. So Tony added terpenes to one of his rosins, I think at the Emerald Cup, and then there was a product that had a higher terpene content than his, and they didn't add terpenes. So we are used to inhaling these terpenes at a fairly um, high dose, at least for the last 10 or 20 years. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we do know that terpenes can act as solvents, they can break down plastics, and that there probably is going to be a level of that sort of huffing. Now, I like to think that we're much more like, um, you know, inhaling on a level of like um, aromatherapy, where mm -hmm. you pass around a bunch of aromas and people would, we're not like, <sighs> You know what I mean? And like, a I, don't get tape to our face. I, I don't get enjoyment from doing that <laughs> from this. I really, it's a subtle thing that I like about these terps. It would definitely be a nice aroma to have throughout the house all the time. Right? Like just subtly. Yeah. All you needed is subtly. Yeah. Like. How do you feel after five terp mod hits though? Baked. Baked. I feel, I feel like close to as baked as I could be, yet I know when I hit this, I'm going to be more elevated. And what about the term bake? Baked. Does it work against <laughs> us to use these terms in the recreational you know, market? Is that is it a negative word? You know, I, I, I medicated? I, yeah, but I mean even that one seems like a sham and that we're hiding. That one but seems phony, yeah, just, like we're hiding behind it. I don't know what the term is. Maybe you guys can come up with some great comments uh, at this point because Peeled? it's like Something positive that doesn't have the negative connotation that's like, yeah, you the know, like thing, inspired. The, the pothead fucking. Right, sort the, the, the of negative. Scenario. Exactly. Go smoke another joint. All right, so Sunset KB. <clears throat> oh my god. Now that's. <laughs> that's incredible. How that was like loud, like citrus, but not really citrusy. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost changing more in the back of my throat where I'm getting a fruity flavor to that. A fruit basket <laughs> flavor. <laughs> exactly. It's not citrusy, but it's loud like Banana, lemon or lime. Strawberry. Wow. That one was really nice. Banana, strawberry, and some fucking and a, and some lime to it. Sunset Sunset KB is like definitely like jube jubes or something. very very flavorful. That was uh, that was nice. What do we got going on here? We got pineapple cream, and we got OG Tahoe OG. This one goes. Uh, this one goes right on the there. other side of this one. Yeah, 
keep them attached to their dabber. Yeah. So they're touching each dabber. So <sighs> pineapple cream. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, you did. Oh, you just put that one down. I just, I just put, put this put one back. back. Sunset KB, and then I pulled up the next yeah. one, which is pineapple cream. I was trying to. Somehow I'm staying on the ball. You are. It's not gonna last. Sure it will. <laughs> I don't know. I'm telling you, these are micro hits too. We're definitely not hitting. I'll show a camera shot of like the size of the hits <clears> that we're hitting. They're just little, t little, you know, maybe match heads of of rosin. Yeah, not even a match head, full match head, maybe half of one. It's but sure. It's okay, we got to get through these. Well, we got to get through them, and I have to say, like, I feel right now off of these five or six, whatever we've hit now, small rips, a better quality whatever you want to call this once again, high if you will, with none of the negative connotations. A better quality high is achieved, especially with the different terpenes and all the modulating. I mean, we, this is for fun. We could literally use just one terpene a day and, and feel the effects of morning, noon, and night and how the modulation changes that strain. But this is just a good old fun <coughs> thing to show. And this is something you guys can do yourselves. BlueRiverExtracts.com. You can literally go on there and you can order uh, many of these strains, if not all of them. So if you're in the U.S., I know that Blue River is going to be opening up in Canada eventually. I'm trying to help out with that, and that'll be at uh, BlueRiverExtracts.ca. So hopefully, you know, people will be able to get to play. There's a lot of different people making terpenes. I think everybody needs these in their lives. That, yeah. That, 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 that is not, that is, you know... We love to recreationally smoke this and always have, mm -hmm. but the medical benefits, everything about it makes it such a bonus, such a bonus that what we're doing, right. and then all of a sudden there's something else that makes it medically better as yeah. well. Like, it's beyond a bonus, let's be honest. After being the black sheep of the family, right, for all of our lives, ex and then to be like, oh, wait a minute, now I can, you can help me with this? Like, this is something that can help Grandma and, like, Uncle Bob? And, Everybody. Like, oh, Auntie Jill, and, like, yep, yeah, everyone's I'll say good this. to go. I was kicked out of my home at 14 for a couple of joints that fell out of my mm -hmm. sock on the stairs by my dad. Brutal. My dad takes my coconut oil and eats it daily because it helps with his IBS, and he loves it. He says, thank you, and he's proud of me. 30 years later? Yeah, 40 years. Yeah, 30 years later. 30 years later. So please don't give up hope. When truth is on your side, it's hard to lose. You know, yeah. I, People always say, oh, you know, like you're such a good debater. I'm like, there's no debate when it comes to cannabis. There's no debate. It's when like you're in it, the right, you're not fucking going to be wrong tr ever. Truth is on its side, and it's, uh, yeah. you know... It's brought us here today for the Terp Dips. I'm dipped. I'm, uh, I'm pineapple dipped cream. I'm dipped there, too. across the old boop. Yum. There we go. We're doing this. This is fun. Oh, wow. Oh. That second hit was definitely pineapple. Oh, yeah. I was just <laughs> like a pineapple... <laughs> <coughs> a little whipped bit. cream, <coughs> pineapple whipped cream <coughs> on this dessert my buddy's wife makes. <coughs> the first hit I hit, I blew out, and I thought it was going to have a really strong taste because it was obviously the first hit. It had very little taste. I carb capped it and hit it again, and wow, that was a world of difference. It does taste almost like a like a pineapple coconut pineapple or a, a pineapple cream thing. A pineapple dessert. Yeah, like a yeah. Uh, sorbet or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah with literally. The cream and I and taste a bit coconut. of coconut in there though. <laughs> it's pineapple coconut, trippy. That's really trippy. Pina colada, man. It's like a pina colada, <laughs> except not like a pina colada. It's like pineapple <laughs> coconut. All right, here we go. Man, Tahoe OG is not going to get things any lighter for us. Let me tell you, this oh. one's this one's heavy. I, I'm higher. I can feel it in my eyes. I can feel it right in my eyes, behind my eyes, top of the high lids. I oh, can we only feel got 12 left. There. Hey, <laughs> we'll get it done. 12, man. It's cool. <laughs> Holy Christ. People are like, did you see that video of those fucking yahoos? Well, you know, when we did the the um, dry sift gauntlet, yep. well, most of the videos ever are always starting off with a very, you know, aware and boom you know right on point with stuff and then by the end of the videos 
we are, everybody says that the, 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 they're laughing. They're just, they, there's, there's, you guys there's are times where it says mm. D420K mm. is off somewhere. And I'm sitting literally like standing this. there like this, just, <laughs> yeah, just staring somewhere for about 30 <laughs> seconds and then it come to it. Uh, well, funny. we've made it, we've made it through one row of three rows. Wicked. I think we're doing fine. We're doing great. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're actually at the end of the first row. The and end of the, the first row. Yes. And it's the Tahoe OG. Oh. So, here we go. Oh, did you dip it? Fuck did I dip it, bro. Oh, I didn't dip the Tahoe OG. Oh, that's why I put it away. I thought you did dip no, it. No, I didn't. I apologize. Hey, I accept your Getting apology. Getting a little excited. I accept your apology. A little excited here in the, uh, in the Turp Lounge. All right. Let's we are do in it. the Turp Lounge, aren't we? Yes. I fucking love it, bro. <laughs> so <coughs> that is powerful. That's Oge. What? That that Tahoe cut Gassy. and the forum cut. Whatever. The cookies, it's it's deep. It's that is a deep Tahoe OG. Just yeah. It's cross my eyes. Holy cross my eyes. There's only twice that I've drank my water. They'll be able to mark all these funny things down like Oh, did you notice they uh, they drank their water after the so and so and the Tahoe and the yep. Tahoe was one yep. of them. People have pointed out. What was that other one? I think it might have been the pineapple one that I or no, the one that I took a drink on. Oh, the pine the purple Hindu. I think that was the one. No, it was oh, the purple punch. Purple punch. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I like you going no. <laughs> I was like, listen to this motherfucker. And then I, and then I didn't, even get, the, one was I didn't even get the thought out of my head, and I was like, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Geez, I don't know if we should start over with OG again. Let's go, uh, let's go Blue Dream. Blue Dream it is. Dream let's it up. Blue Dream, let's go Blue Dream. This, is, uh, this one literally got, like, a drop put in it. So we really have to... Uh, Boop. Oh yeah, no, there's more there than you think, actually. So well, Blue Dream, classic. I mean, to me, it right away, the first thing I smell in it is the commercialness of it. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not dissing on Blue Dream. It's got a beautiful smell. Uh, it's great herb that a lot of people can grow and get yields on and make a nice looking product, you know, kind of like a AAA or whatever they call it today, quads. Yet, it's, it's got that commercial flavor to it though that like the sugar bear the jamaican the you know all the of those juicy the, fruit the juicy fruit all the commercial ones we had you nailed it dude those you yeah. smell it there yeah but now try to get past that sorry about my telephone um and and get into the actual past the commercial flavor of it you, there's a nice profile to be had in blue dream i do enjoy well, the it. thing that i liked about the juicy fruit was it, <laughs> it was the very start of it Mm. I liked the first couple joints out of the bag, but yep. then it was just wore off. But the flavor of it and the taste was just something else. Um, that should be fine. I was going to unplug it. If, it. if it lights up again, we'll go unplug it. So I'm dipped. You're dipped. It smells even nicer on the dip rather than from the jar. Yes. You can get a, a more open air. It's another thing about the terpenes. They are so different in if you change their environment. Smelling them in an enclosed jar is very different from taking a drop of them and placing it on a glass oh. dish in open air. See what I'm saying? All right, buddy. Cheers. Blue Dream. <clears throat> Definitely had a lot of the juicy fruit. <coughs> Jamaican sugar bear flavor, but <clears throat> there's something else there. If that's just so pronounced it's, to me, it's 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 very nice. It's pleasant. It's nowhere near as powerful as some of the ones we tried already. Like the last one, it's subtle. <laughs> it's, it's a more subtle. It's one. subtle, but it's fla it, it's flavorful. Like it's it wouldn't be something I get tired of. Like I would if I was smoking the juicy fruit. You know what I mean? That's still a flavor I would, if I had the terps, I'd be dipping. 
Double dipping, triple dipping. I like dip. Which one's that? The red. Oh my goodness. The red Congolese. Right? Oh. Can't salute for that. This is for that. Holy. Just wait, dude. You are not going to believe it. Holy. I hit this one eight times in a row yesterday. I hit it once, oh. and then it was it. It was like boom, 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 boom. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is it's, beautiful. That's the one. That is beautiful. It's. I think it might be my favorite. Wow. It might be my favorite. Not going to lie. A favorite out of all of them. One favorite. Like... It might, it might be. It's like the only one I hit eight times. I'm not exaggerating. I hit it eight times in a row. It was like I just... Even today, I was hitting it on the Skype with Skunkman Sam, and he had his collection out. And he was like, which one should I try? And I'm like, uh, oh, pull out the Red Congo. He's like, okay. And he, he hits it, and he's like... <laughs> oh, I like that one. And I'm like, yeah. Right up, I'm man. like, I know. He's like, oh, well, tell me what other ones I should <laughs> hit. I was like, well, right off the bat, hit another red Congo. Pass her over. Oh, my gosh. I, didn't I, get I dipped dip. you again without... Oh, no, I did dip it. Sorry. No problem. I did. No problem. Let's uh, let's do this well, red maybe Congo. Maybe I didn't. What do you mean? Let me smell. No. It. No, you did not. I dip. didn't. See, here we, do, here we go. You guys can start marking that stuff down. Yeah, it's funny when you just get a little bit, like, completely Pretty destroyed. Good. You know, just a little bit completely destroyed. And we are more than completely destroyed. <laughs> we have the good old time. <laughs> All right, Red Congo, Terpene, Gauntlet, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What if We're six... We're halfway through. This is, if, this is halfway. What if six turned out to be nine? Jimi Hendrix, Google it. <laughs> oh yeah, man, I'm telling you. That was everything I love about cannabis. Landrace, spicy, exotic, perfumey, uh, uh, uplifting, uh, vivid, loud, <laughs> like... I'm speechless. Dude, <laughs> holy shit, bro. I'm telling you, the, the Red Congo... It makes me laugh. <clears throat> it's a... Uh, it's a giddy high, all of this. It's yeah. like... Well, because we're uplifting. Oh. You know? And... Uh, <clears throat> oh, we are that... There we go. Dang. I swear to God, as crazy as it sounds, in the middle of the gauntlet, right, nine in, right, we got another nine to go, and I'm literally considering taking another hit of the Red Congo before I move on Let's to do it. the cheese bomb. <clears throat> God hates a coward. <laughs> God hates Just a do coward. It, man. You know what? Let's follow it, it up. Let's follow it up with one. So we go through the well, whole gauntlet, but then we, we finish it with red with Congo. The, with the red Congo? Yeah. Or Unless there's one we find that it, we finish it. What about the purple it. punch? I mean, I like the red Congo more personally, but you can finish it with whatever Because that you purple want. punch really stuck in my head. Well, that may be the one you're, that you're right. going to finish with. Try this cheese bomb. Oh. Amazing differences. Now, there's going to be caryophylline. There's going to be... Um, a similarity of a few terpenes in every batch. And you can pick that up. You know, I think to the subtle nose, the person that doesn't have the ability uh, of a very strong olfactory, they might say something like, these kind of all smell the same, even though there are really quite vast differences. Huge differences. There are minor there are similarities. Some similarities that you yeah. can, you'll be like, oh, I smell. And then right away it's like, like, smell that. That is like similar to what we've smelled, and yet nothing like anything we've smelled. Catching that? Yeah. It's hard because it's a profile. One them, every one of them. Like that Here, go ahead. red Congolese. Holy <laughs> crap. So good, dude. So good. Mind blowing. 
And I don't know, I haven't hit the cheese bomb yet. There's a few I haven't hit yet, so you're really the first person I've hit all of these flavors oh. with. I did it to you again? Yeah. I gotta stop doing that. It's okay, buddy. Maybe I gotta be quicker. Maybe it's me, not you, buddy. <laughs> Getting all philosophical. Oh, buddy. fuck. We're fucking very... Uh, uh, endocannabinoid saturated. Well, we're saturated. We are right. endocannabinoid saturated. This, this is the most terpens I've been in my whole life. Terpy. Terped. We're at the gas station getting terped up here on Bubble Man's World, and we're just glad that you guys are joining us. For those of you that have your Blue River uh, terpenes with you, we're about to hit another one. Keep up. That was nice. That yes. was really nice. <coughs> <coughs> cheese bomb. Now, not funky cheese at all. More like cheesecake bomb. Came out just, I don't know, that was a really pleasant taste. Yeah. It wasn't funky. It wasn't really fucking... There wasn't a punch like those two that it really wasn't a punch, them. but it was definitely not super subtle either. Like I can, I can taste it in my mouth fairly strong. I can taste it on my lips. And believe it or not, each time we hit one, these are so pronounced. You can do it with essential oils. It is very different each time. <clears throat> very different. So. And I've tried those turpins that are you know like um, done from. A whole bunch of other turpins are made into a profile. Oh yeah. Not from cannabis. Right. And they're and they're you know mixed with um, the clear or uh, you know put on some rosin or whatever dipped or dropped onto some some hash, and uh, I can tell the difference. <clears throat> See, I'm just trying to be faster. I know that's awesome. No, no, no. I know, but I was just like, take your time. Oh. Uh, I think we're doing it. I think we're hitting a rip every minute and a half to three minutes. Where did I go? I was uh, doing something. You were talking about uh, laughing, being giddy. Yeah, I don't know, man. But this, <laughs> you, you remember the, remember that one we did with the speed? We got speed tickets. Oh motorbikes? yeah. And we we both. Uh, and I thought my manager didn't pay out pay it. I was worried. Oh, yeah? I didn't pay mine yet. We paid ours twice. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Lucky for them. They Good paid year. us back the once. I was so, like, intense about him paying it, he paid it twice. And so then he got it, or, 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 the check back in the mail. Here we go. Um, vitamin CBD. Hadn't mentioned that yet, had I? This is the Vitamin CBD. This was an award winner. Um, geez, I think Tony and I, we took first at the Emerald Cup with the vitamin CBD rosin sap that uh, <laughs> they busted out under the brand. <laughs> wow. You know what, I've got an idea. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn my nail down just a little bit. I'm gonna go down a little bit more, like maybe say, let's say 540. <laughs> so you have to push the square button once, yep. and then just go down to 540 and you're good. <coughs> Vitamin CBD, lovely, pretty nice. Uh, has a similarity to the, um, what was the one that tasted similar to the, oh, the Blue Dream. I find the Vitamin CBD to have a little bit of a Blue Dream-esque flavor to it. Whatever that terpene profile is that we spoke about. That's not that CBD. Of, yeah, vitamin CBD it's called. So CBD is a CBD strain, obviously, right? Yeah, I know. That's I, It's a bit of a misnomer because obviously I don't know why they put, choose to call it CBD over anything else. Probably. So it's not got anything to do with CBDs? Well, it has everything to do with CBD and the fact that it's a high CBD profile plant. So CBD is probably the highest percentage of cannabinoid. Okay. And then it might be a ratio, it might be 20 to 1 or 10 to 1. I've, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I should know, but uh, I'm does, sure someone will know and they can post it in the comments section. Does anything <clears throat> change 
because of the CBD or the THC in the terpenes? I've always thought that they would probably find that the terpene profile, obviously it's the, it's the modulator. So I would be very surprised if it didn't modulate CBD effects, that terpene profiles that are specific to high CBD strains should be as much paid attention to as the percentage of CBD. So when you're, when you're really high and you smoke, like now? Yes, and you smoke a CBD, isn't it supposed to level you out? calm you down, get you a little, like, take it, a bit, take if, it away? If you were hitting high amounts of the cannabinoid, yeah. And okay. if, if the terpenes modulated without the CBD present, absolutely. Because with that last toke, literally, I'm not stoned anymore. Okay, so there you go. So your bioassay <laughs> says this. Just, Just joking. Yeah. <laughs> You are baked. Right? Uh, yeah, That's awesome. Fucking right, yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, so we're hitting the Gorilla Glue. This Ooh, is real nice stuff. I've heard so much of this, about this, and yeah. it's just... Glue is great. Gorilla Glue is like, boom, pow, snaps! Oh. Uh, the terpene really, really represents the flowers accurately. Anyone that grows Gorilla Glue or knows Gorilla Glue very well as a smoker or an aficionado of hashish or concentrates... They are gonna fucking recognize this shit. So, so this is gonna kaboom, pow, pow. No, right? You'll be fine. Okay. okay. <laughs> as fine as you are now. Okay. <laughs> I might need another CBD hit. Oh. Glue. Real nice glue hit at 539. Let me tell you. <coughs> it's just. It tastes just like the, the full melt. It tastes exactly like Gorilla Glue full melt. That made me like picture caramelly, beautiful full melt Gorilla Glue in my head. I'm trying to fucking find that flavor, what it is. You need another one? Here, how about a couple of smells while you're. Another nice thing is to hit it, and while you're, you're tasting it, smell it while you're tasting it. And you pick up uh, different nuances that certain, you might not be able to pick up on your nose alone. Oh, it's powerful. Uh, it's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. <clears throat> it's really like, mm, like, just fucking in your face. That CBD one gave me a very lemony taste without the citrus. Yeah, let's see. Without the citrus sharp, it was a very... Soft lemon. A lot of people call it a cherry taste, but there is a fruity taste that I also pick up on uh, different um, CBD strains. Definitely, that one is 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 also something I can't wait, quite quite pick off the top of my head. Ooh, I'm excited for this though. What number are we at? Oh, like maybe twelve. Hmm. Oh my god, this one might be my favorite. Just now, smelling that. And you and you haven't tried oh, this one yet. I. Holy smokes. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. Just smell that. It's good close. It's, it's not offensive, that one. Ooh. Right? I think pink as soon as I smell it. That is af gooey. I think very nice, soft mm. pink color. Right. Badge terps. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the point I was trying to... You know what? We're, we're having fun here. We're trying to make the video somewhat serious, but come on. We're doing a gauntlet of 18 rips and we're 12 anybody in. anybody be serious after 12 rips in? Didn't you just say that? Yes. And I, you know what? <laughs> What's even scarier is we are actually 12 rips in. Yeah. Accurately. <laughs> I haven't been keeping count. <laughs> Give me another taste of that before you dip. Because the oh smell of that God. one has been just... And you know what? It, it reminds me. It reminds me of really nice how you, flowers. How do you even explain that to someone? Like a whole bouquet of the best smelling flowers. Yeah, but cannabis flowers. Like they're. You're right, though. There is a florally, like beautiful other, like, like that bright bouquet. So this is an interesting thing that Darren's doing here, is with the smelling. Instead of trying to break it down with with words. There are pictures that are appear in your head when you smell some of these. And I didn't get it at first, but when he said the flowers and then I said cannabis flowers, 
right at the end of that, I picked up a hint of what you were talking about. That was actual no, like flowers. And, and I wasn't talking vag terps. I was talking actual the color pink. Soft pink is what I seen first smelling it. Like God, is that nice? <clears throat> I like the way you just said that so seriously. And I wasn't actually talking about vag terps. <laughs> but it was on, <laughs> uh, on the discussion of the. Let's dip, oh, man. This is the rates. one, dude. We're past our three-minute mark, aren't we? Between, we in between dips? We, this one might be the longest uh, time we've waited yet, but come on. We're 12 in, and there's... Uh, we're no slouches. We're doing the good work here. Fuck, we'll go backwards and do it again if maybe... We're well. doing the good work of the Terps. So, love to learn about terpenes. You can do a couple of Google searches. You can join my Facebook group called... All things terpene. I would love to see more discussion there. Of course, we're looking for people. Mm -hmm. We don't claim to know a lot about this stuff. We're not telling you that what we're even doing right now is safe and should be done, nor are we condoning it. If you want to do it, you're a big boy or a big girl, by all means, try it. I'm sure the science in the next five to ten years will be very strong. And through the bioassay, I have to admit, like just the way it makes me feel, I feel that it's a good thing. I don't feel too high. I feel happy. Yeah, I feel good. And I don't feel wasted or, I feel you know. giddy. Like, I'm yeah. jokey. I, like yeah. to, I'm, I'm I feel glossy. anxious. Let's get her done. It's been so long since we had a terp rip. Wow. <coughs> Very nice aftertaste. Holy. Getting that florally aftertaste really strong. <coughs> Lavendery, definitely pinkish and purpley blues. Yeah. Done. <clears throat> yeah, that's beautiful. That was very nice. That really, and every one of these tokes, when you exhale it and then you stop and sit back, mm. you feel it. Every single one is a different little level. It's you're, I'm not, I'm not keep going. It's a direction. You know, not, there's, there's, there's no real ceiling. Right. It's kind of like a little bit of a, a oop. Just put us over here and kind of oh, we're just <laughs> half gooey. Really uh, set a nice tone. You ready to get heavy? Triple O G. Triple OG, bro. Oh, no. You might want to take a bit of a bigger dab for this one. Just saying. Like bigger. that? That's a little bit bigger than I was going to go, but okay. still going quite small by anyone's standards. By no means are we trying to claim that we're taking monster rips. Just doing an 18. Yeah, I can't do those monster rips. Well, I can, but they hurt me. I recovered. I couldn't do a monster rip like that. Well, hey, you know what? Think of it this way. We're setting the tone for the video, and the next guy to get 18 types of terpenes, you should do it. Just take a half gram rip with each terp, a couple of drops, and you know, do the nine gram. Here's here's an idea What's that? that I'll throw out there. Are you dipped? I'm, I'm not dipped, no. All right, well, you dip before you throw your ideas this, out at me. This, these, <laughs> these, these young guys on the channel love to live. Okay. I met them at, the, at this place on, um, well, at the Smoker's Lounge there. Okay. We were bullshitting, and they, he was saying, you know, you know how they got those videos of, of uh, a bud coated in some key, co coated in some, yeah, moon some shatter and all that. Like, Dipped in keef. Yeah. Yeah. But, but there's buds that are, that, why don't we do buds with rosin, with bu bu uh, yeah. water hash, yeah. uh, dry sift, and yeah. coat the buds like that? You could. Well, yeah. The moon, I, the moon I, rocks. They asked me, maybe we should put a video like that. I said, do it. Yeah. Show the world, man. You're, Dude. You're solventless moon rocks. We just told the world. Yeah. You guys better be on it so quick. So get fast, man. You guys are, I know they watch too, so. Triple OG. Already strong as deep. Strong. Yeah, those OGs are just, they've got this extremely earthy and deep, deep. I don't even know how to like <coughs> <coughs> explain it other than <coughs> 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 Nice subtle differences you can pick up in the ends too. Oh. Especially now that we've turned the nail down. <coughs> wow. 
you know. That's one. That one. Drink. That one closes the eyeballs. <laughs> Close your eyes on that one. Oh my god, take it super, super deep inhalation and tell me that's not like chocolate or coffee. Mm, I can't get deep on that without fucking <coughs> it biting. Oh man. <clears throat> well shit. Then I guess oh, we better step whoa. this shit up. What you really need whoa, in your that, life? That was an eye closer. Just wait. I'm that about was to an eye I'm about to give him the chem dog. This chem, chem dog. dog. Yeah, the chem dog. Hmm. Here we go. Some unadulterated, never touched chem dog. Dabs up! Let's speed this shit up, man. We're almost done. Oh my god. We've done a great job. <clears throat> I think we've done a great job. We have four left. Four left. Out of 18. Holy shit. So we've done, uh, what is that? So we've done like 63, and we have 17 left to go. Is that how that works out? <laughs> yeah. That's, uh. That's what we're doing. We're doing it. Fuck it. That's we'll 14 it. rips in. Math. Yeah, 67 and 17. That works out. I'm going to leave this open so we can smell it while we exhale. Or as we cough. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That is so chemmy. Chem doggage. Got the good word on this chem dog that it was very, very legit. Wow. Uh, <coughs> it came from an incredible grower <coughs> that had helped show other friends of ours in the community how to grow. Definitely, guy knows what he's doing. That chem dog is. <coughs> Just grab. Yeah, that was beautiful. Chem dog for the win. Had me coughing a lot. I mean, my God, that's the first time we've had a scene an edit. Just coughing like a maniac. That was beautiful. Um, you ready for some venom? O Absolutely. G. Venom Oj. Oj Koosh. Oh, yeah. The Koosh. Little bit of that Koosh. Going oh, down. Oh, there. Now that. You like that one. That's the that one. Reminds that reminds me. Of your that, that takes me. No, that takes me back to the fucking days where these, uh, these brothers, these older boys mm -hmm. taught me how to grow. I was just, I was so happy with going in, cutting clones, trimming weed, selling the shit for fucking, getting it for two seventy five an ounce straight up all the time. And I was happy at all of it, doing it for fuck all. Of course. Because I was fresh, brand new into it. Thank you. And I'll tell you something. The, the strawberry strain. Store, sorry. Oh, yeah. No, no. Up. Keep going. The strawberry strain that they had wasn't a very good yielder at all, but the smell of it was something phenomenal. And this is exactly that smell. So there it is right there. People ask me, what are these terps for if you're just not dipping them, if you're not putting them into wow. food products, if you're not putting them... The olfactory memory triggers that these things cause, I've seen many people since I've shown them have memory triggers from their past and be like, wow, man, that like yes. totally brings me back. It totally brings me back. Like that's the days when I, <clears throat> when I first got, was able to be a part of doing something with a grower. And those guys fucking Venom worked the hell out of me, man. Well, here's to those guys. Fucking right. Thanks, boys. Oh, yeah. That is nice. <coughs> wow. <coughs> 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 <laughs> terps. I'll tell wow. you, an, an interesting thing I find out about the Terps is this. <coughs> it makes you want to keep having a session. It's exciting to keep going. It doesn't, it doesn't 
kind of taper off. It just keeps going <laughs> through this beautiful, just soaring. Like this could be a thing right here. I mean, I'm talking. Uh, forget about vapor lounges and and bars with alcohol and stuff. What what about the Terp bar or the Terp experience where you go to dinners? You gather with people, nice glasses brought to the table at the end of your food, maybe even in between your dessert and your food, and you have a terp platter that in comes out. courses, man. You choose your terps that you guys all want to try, and then you have this beautiful experience where just taking micro doses and getting iry. A terp dose with your mic with your with your hash mm. in between courses to eat, just like matching wine with food and exactly. all that kind of stuff would be. I could eat right now. Something I have to say, else. I'm not so totally stoned right now that I couldn't eat a nice meal right now. And I can always eat. We've also also this pretty extreme to go through 18 um, flavors each. Has anybody else done it? I mean, I'm sure someone's done it somewhere, but I've never seen anyone do it. So, who could answer that question accurately? Lots of people out there in the world, but I bet you it's the first time you guys seen it on YouTube. If you have seen it before. Post the link in the comment section because we want to give those guys a high five. I'm Props. telling you, what are we, 14 in, 15 in, 16 in? we got two left. Those yeah. last two there. Okay, well, here we go. Let's do one. So, oh, oh my God, did I plan that? I don't know. You've already, you probably Ch did, but subconsciously. Cherry AK-47 and Strawberry Mind Warp. Let's keep it in order and go for the strawberry mind warp. Good. Oh shit. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, I guess the next sort of levels of this stuff, these turp parties, is taking is is matching terps with other terps and mixing and seeing what that outcome is, I guess. For sure. You know, like the Jeffrey, the I Jeffrey, guess the the fucking well, you know, Jeffrey. When you don't uh, wipe your dabber with your dab rag here, you could end up kind of each time producing a little bit of a Jeffrey effect and picking up um, mm -hmm. uh, effects from the other ones. Although, <clears throat> you know, I'm sure we've had a little bit of that happen. By no means, I've been wiping my uh, dabber on this little guy, but well, not we're using every the single same time. Same bowls too, right? If we, you know, Ex same 15, pipes, you know, eighteen you different imagine? bowls, brand new bowls, everything, exactly. boom, bam, bam. That's it. There's a fucking true test. There's the next level. Well, let's do it next time like that. Okay. And maybe get a couple more people in here because we've shown that we can do it in a fairly short time. I don't know what the timeline is, but double I mean, dip. I, I know we're definitely not two hours into Triple a video dip. right now. Triple dip. Those these are fucking they, they are ridiculous. Are we're just stupid. You got to go check out D420K <laughs> on Vine. I'm BC Bubble Man. Check me out as well. He's got these just ridiculous vines that I, I think they could go viral. They're I so ridiculous. Long rip. Bored. Triple dip, turp dip, double dip, Ooh, bong, rip, bong rip, triple dip. <laughs> it's funny, dude. Have you dipped? Yes, I did. Okay, so we are I hitting sneaky dipped. the strawberry mind warp 17, uh, 17th rip turp modulation. Here we go. Flowers. <coughs> <They're> flowers. <coughs> Fruity flowers. Mm -hmm. Wow. It overpowered my bong and my and my nail and everything. Wow. That was holy shit. Smell your carb cap, dude. My carb cap smells so good. Wow. <sighs> interesting. Very interesting. Well that is special. <clears throat> Have a smell while you're tasting it. I find that that is definitely the double dose of really. Everyone has a different olfactory <clears throat> sense. You had that. You were talking about that pipe last last hash church. Which one? Where you'd have the double bowl. Exactly. Where you'd get 
the yeah. vaporizer, and then the hash. And the hash rip. Yes. Yeah, so it was kind of like this. Yes. It was terpene modulation. I was, I was lightly vaping off the terps and some cannabinoids. And then using hash in a separate bowl, this pipe melted together only at the top mouthpiece where the two vapors collided for the first time. It was, it was a beautiful thing, but this is some next level shit that we're on to right now, let me tell you. We're actually on number 18. We're on number 18. We, we motored through these, dude. I'm almost wow. willing to go through them backwards now. I'm joking. 18 is cool. I wanted to make a short video. I didn't want it to be two hours. 36, hopefully, though. Holy shit. Hopefully it's under the uh, hour limit. I really, I kind of hope so anyway. But uh, give that a little wipe ski and go fresh for my last hit. Although this isn't my last hit because I'm definitely finishing it with a big fucking rip of Congo. <clears throat> Yeah. And I'm taking a pretty big rip with this strawberry milk. I might milk. have to fucking... Check it out. Ooh, nice. Yeah, just go a little bigger for the last one or second last one. This has I, been... I think I want to take a rip of some of that rosin you got over there or something. <laughs> You're yeah, always welcome on my stash, brother. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, here's number 18. Number 18, Strawberry Mind Warp. Once again, Tony Verzura, dude. Thank you so much for this experience. Oh, you are well. doing... Amazing things. Drops. Super happy to help represent Blue River up here in Canada and be a part of the uh, United Cannabis team. Uh, Ernie and Tony and the good people at Harborside, Steve D'Angelo. And uh, fuck. Here's Cheers. the 2016, everyone. Cheers. is right. The low temp dabs are so nice. That's like... Oh. Oh. Smell that when you got that <coughs> fresh out. Oh my. <coughs> oh yeah. Wow, eh? Yeah. Ooh. Holy schnapples. Whoa. That what I have to say, if it did land on that being the last one, I wouldn't have been upset. That was the uh, Cherry AK-47. Unbelievable. Honestly, honestly, I would not have been upset about any of them being the last one. There's not, there's not one thing in there. Well, you know what? My brain is telling me the Juicy Fruit um, imitation was the only one... That maybe that, didn't belong uh, on the pedestal. That, well, I wouldn't say didn't belong, but I would say I would, would be just would be the one that that I liked least out of all of them. Yeah. But I loved it. I would not exactly kick and, it out of bed for and the crackers type thing. When I ran out of Blue Dream last time, <clears throat> I was bummed. There you go. I'm not gonna lie. Like, but out of eighteen kinds, something has to be at the end of the fucking. That's road. right. There has to be something mm -hmm. that's your mind speaks has to you. Has to. That's what it did. Purple to me. punch. Purple punch. Thank Red you. Congolese. Oh my. So let's do this up properly. Finish our video. I'm going to hit my butter here. My butter rosin. You're hitting the shatter rosin. Yeah. I, the, I hit the shatter rosin for every one of those rips. Now I'm going to just do a butter rosin for my last Congolese. Red Congolese. And uh, wonderful. I hope... Uh, yeah, I hope it inspires you guys to do a similar thing. Have fun with your terpenes. Get together with your friends. You know, be safe, be understanding that we're still learning, and uh, hey, I urge anyone that has an interest in chemistry, you know, phytocannabinoids uh, and terpenes, these are incredible <clears throat> things to study right now. PhDs could be written on phytocannabinoids and terpene profiles of cannabis, and uh, it's you guys that are going to teach us all the important things that we need to know to use these as safe modulators in the future. So, give thanks everyone for watching Bubble Man's World. Red Congolese, Purple Punch, peace out. Peace.